All right, guys, this is the Naruto Naruto <laughs> studio headphones, high quality sound. You can actually find these at five below for five dollars. Surprisingly, it's one of the few products in the store that's actually still five dollars because, you know, they up their prices on everything. Um, it is licensed. So what I will go ahead and say is that hopefully uh, the quality of the headset is similar to the quality of the box. Pretty good. But we shall see in real time. So with that being said, without further ado, let's hop right into this video. Alrighty, so there's no real need to talk about any type of specifications such as uh, IP ratings or things like that. I doubt this has it. It does have a 3.5 headphone jack, but it does specify on the box. Well, I believe it did. Yeah. Um, if you need the, the splitter cable, here it is. It does not come with the splitter cable that has the recording and the headphone jack for traditional PCs. If you're one of those people where your PC only has, like a laptop only has the uh, headphone jack, you'll be fine. Cell phone users, you'll be fine. People that have dongles, you'll be perfectly fine. But if you're a PC user and you want to use this primarily as your talking voice, uh, you are going to need that little splitter dongle, just so you know. But today's tests are actually... Oh, wait a minute. I think I opened it. Yep, I opened it on the top. So let me go ahead and do that properly. Oh, I'll fix that later. So anyway... Let's go ahead and unbox this. I think I rambled on enough. You can see what comes inside the box. So nothing else comes inside the box. Pretty cheap wrapping. Uh, you have this right here. This is the 3.5 headphone jack for those that don't know. It basically fits MP3 players, iPad, iPods. Do they still make those? Um, any classic MP3 player. Some so a lot of mid-tier cell phones still have the headphone jack. So, you know, for you guys out there that want that, it is good to go. Um Unfortunately, I do not see. Huh. I was expecting this to actually have some type of uh, speaker on it, but it doesn't look like it actually does. It just looks like this is just a generic headset. Anyway, we'll, we'll check that out in a second. So the cushions do feel pretty good um, just by touching them. Though I do think that if you use these over time, they'll probably flatten out after a few months or so, but it really depends on your usage and the size of your head. <laughs> Trust me, that does matter. Um, this part right here is soft rubber, so you should have some comfort for wearing these for a long period of time. Of course, I'll let you know how good it actually feels when we do the fit test. It does fold up, so this is easily accessible to put inside of a bag, so it won't take up too much space. Um, it's a solid headset. What I will say is that you can still feel the cheapness of it, but a lot of times with these headsets, they uh you could definitely feel that this could be bendable it won't break like it doesn't feel like it's going to snap some cheap headphones you can see the glue in between the grooves this actually feels pretty good and let me see can this be pulled yep it's a little tight at first probably because of the first initial one but yeah it's not bad i, I can honestly say that the build quality of this obviously isn't the quality of a, like a 20 or 30 dollar sony headset but it's not bad for five dollars at all um, the only thing that's really missing is the actual speaker jack. And we are going to check in real time later on on a recording if the speaker is built into this. I got to do some more research on this thing to double check and make sure. But anyway, with that being said, we don't have to worry about syncing it. There's no Bluetooth or anything like that. Let's go ahead and do an audio test and see how that sounds. So to kind of put this in perspective for you guys, this is how it's going to look with the fit. Let me put these on my head for you. This is how it's going to look. Believe it or not, these headphones are very, very comfortable. Even though they're hard plastic for the most part, the cushions aren't the most comfortable cushions in the world, it feels loose. And what I mean by that is it feels tight on the head like it's not gonna move, but the, how do I explain it? Let me explain it this way. With most headphones, they're super tight on the sides, right? So when you use it, they tend to snap back to its original position and it feels really tight squeezing your head. But when you wear these, as you can see, they go on with no problem. No matter how I put it on, no matter how I wear it, it feels very, very comfortable. And I have no issues with the fit whatsoever. So with that being said, I'm going to kind of combine the video, not video audio, but the uh, talking as, as, uh, aspects about this headset. Now, remember, I had the dongle in this to hook up to my phone. And I know some dongles, can, this could affect the uh, quality of sound with your headset. So I did try it on another device. And I gotta be honest with you, um, there's no audio coming out of this. So if you're one of those people where you wanna wear a headset like this and then talk through your phone, the phone will think 
that it's talking through the headset audio, but because there's no uh, cord or there's no volume control or there's no ability to be able to talk through this headset, silence just comes out. So if you use this hooked up to a PC and then you have a microphone on your PC separate, you can use this for audio and you can still hear voice through the microphone. But if you're using this headset as an all-in-one microphone and voice, it's it's just not possible because there's no microphone in it. I was under the assumption that maybe there was a microphone inside the headset cuff somewhere, like a lot of headphones have. This does not have that. So, uh, unfortunately, this is just more of a beauty piece, to be honest, or just to hook up to a video game system or to hook up to a tablet if you're just listening to something, just so other people can't hear you. But I mean, hear what it is that you're listening to. But other than that, no. Um, unfortunately, you can't talk on these, and 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 that probably is the reason why they're five dollars. I gotta be honest. If you could talk on it, I don't think that would have made much of a difference because uh, in the next section, I'm going to talk to you guys about the audio quality, and it is not very good when it comes to listening to music. But anyway, with that being said, um, we're going to go into the next section and then pretty much close up this video after that. So if we're if we're talking about the quality of music for this headset. Um, it's kind of non-existent and what I mean by that is it says the box is high quality sound and things like that There is nothing high quality about this sound whatsoever Now I've done headsets that have really good sound like the uh, stranger things headset that I did before That had very good sound and it had a boom microphone on it and the microphone was actually pretty clear for that $10 price tag this on the other hand doesn't even have a audio device inside of it so you can't, uh, not audio device, I'm sorry. It doesn't have a uh, audio device for talking. You can't speak into it. You only can hear through it. So again, when I decided to play music, like some uh, actual rock music and things like that, not nothing I made this time around, uh, it sound very cloudy. It sound low, cloudy, extremely heavy. It's like, you ever wear something, too much clothing, and you have to kind of itch? And you had to unzip the clothing to get to it. And it's like you're struggling to take it off because you got so much clothing on. That's how I felt listening to this headset. <laughs> it was like, um, <laughs> I know it's not the best comparison, but I just thought it was funny at the moment. It did, it doesn't have quality sound. The highs, the mids, the lows, they sound awful. Uh, when I turn it up, it crackled. Not really crackle, but the music is breaking up as it is, even at a lower volume. It just doesn't sound very good at all. Like, it's very very bad so for those that you know for some people i don't mind using a headset if it looks cool because when i hooked up to my pc i have a microphone so it's not going to affect me a lot of times i'll use headsets that you know i don't care for the audio on the headset but i'm listening to it like this the speech through it but the sounds coming into the headset itself can sound great this doesn't have that it's like the sounds sound terrible i play call of duty with this the gunshots sound off Everything sound off. The conversations that were happening with people uh, talking in the background sound, it just didn't sound very good at all. And the, the audio quality experience on this is not good. Now, if you buy these for a kid, right? The reason why I would say they probably wouldn't have a problem with it is that most young children aren't aware of how great sound can be. They use what they use because they're grateful to get what they get. It's the bougie children that have AirPods and different things and stuff like that. And they feel like they don't have to use something outside of this name brand. The average kid won't have a problem with this. I think they'll see Naruto or Naruto. I think I said the word correctly, Naruto. <laughs> and they'll run with it. They'll be happy. And if it's five below, trust me, there's shirts. There's a, there's a lot of things that you can get. And I will bundle it up with this as a gift, especially if they're into that type of thing, anime and things like that. And it'll be a very good gift. It'll be well thought out. I think the kid will like it. They'll play Roblox or do whatever it is that they do. They'll be perfectly fine with it. But an adult that's listening to quality of music, remember, you don't have to buy a $300 headset to get quality of music. You can buy a 10, 15, 20 dollar headset. Some are better than others. But when you when you're doing a lower price headset, you kind of have to go through them to make sure that you're getting quality because you don't know if there's quality control with any of these headsets versus going to a Best Buy and seeing a cheap Sony headset or a cheap uh skull candy headset or a cheap j-lab you already know that you're going to get some type of decent sound out of that though it's still pick and choose and it's harder to, you know it's a little hard to discern which one's going to be better but you know that those are going to be better products but when you do stuff like this 
I don't even know who makes this. It just says licensed by Viz Studio. And, and, and like, I don't know who makes this. <laughs> I can't even tell you what the brand is. It's, it's just, I, I couldn't tell you, honestly. And it's not bad for a gift because of the box art and things like that and the concept and just the this won't scratch off the material it's actually a very comfortable headset believe it or not the the problem is that it's just the quality of sound just does not exist and unfortunately um you're going to be sorely disappointed if you buy these thinking that you're going to get quality i thought i was going to get at least some type of decent music quality or voice quality and turns out i can't even use the voice because there's no voice service for this headset unfortunately but, you know, if you still buy it, what I will say to you guys that are still buying this, it's five bucks. So you can't go wrong if you're just trying to give someone a quick gift. You're trying to stay in the hip or in the know and you just want to buy them something real fast. This is actually supposed to be the video, the music section. But I kind of answered the question, is it worth buying? Honestly, no. But for that five dollar price tag and what it represents, because it's Naruto. Yes, it's a technicality. Plus, they have Naruto toys and different things and comic books and mangas and stuff at Five Below T-shirts. So if you pair this with the Naruto ramen shirt and different stuff, it can make a pretty good gift. That's all I'm saying. But the quality of noise of sound is just ugh. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> but anyway, that's the video. Like always like and subscribe. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say to you guys. Like there's, there's no nice way to say it. It's just not a quality product.